My name is Jan. I am a doTERRA respiratory wellness advocate. My passion is to help people um, live healthier with breathing and to help them deal with their respiratory um, diagnoses that they have. It's taken me a little bit to correlate the essential oils with what I do every day as a respiratory therapist. It was just more of a mental block for me. I'm just like everybody else when I first started, I didn't know what to do with the oils. I didn't know how to use them. I kind of looked at them as, ooh, they smell good, wear them like perfume. But in reality, they work just like a medication. And I have learned Move you guys a little closer. That they have wonderful effects on the respiratory system. And I don't know if many of you guys know this, but COPD is the third leading cause of death in the United States. And a lot of that can be affected by where these patients live. 255,000 people a year die from their asthma. To me, that's horrifying, and it's just so sad. So my passion in life from last week or last month when I actually correlated all this together is I really want to teach people how to use these essential oils and have a healthy respiratory system, and the first place we need to start is in our homes. Our homes are full of chemicals. We use them every single day when we wash dishes, when we any kind of cleaning, um, all-purpose cleaners <clears throat> it's really horrible for our respiratory systems so with your guys's help I really want to reach as many people as we can to teach them how to be healthy so tonight I'm going to do three different recipes I'm going to show you guys how to make an all-purpose cleaning spray using essential oils and household products that are healthy for you you can buy them when you just go to the grocery store. There's nothing special about them. We're gonna do a glass and window cleaner. And the reason that I felt that this one was important is because Windex has horrible chemicals in it that you shouldn't breathe. And we use it all the time to clean the glass, clean whatever, in coffee tables. And it just bothers me that people feel like that's the only thing that they have to clean their, their homes with. The other one I'm going to show you guys how to do is the stainless steel. It's, yes, the Febreze makes me sick too, Cindy. I, actually, I can't handle any of it anymore now that I've got all the chemicals out of my, my house and all my beauty products too. So even at work when you use Lysol, Lysol it's horrible. Um, I find that my chest tightens. I just, I can't stand it. So the stainless steel one, I've noticed that a lot of people have stainless steel in their homes now, that it's a more natural, it's something that is common. So I figured that instead of using that stainless steel cleaner, which I know is full of chemicals, having a natural one will be better for us. Oils are just ones that I got off of a recipe for this. You need to use all the oils everything and make um, mixtures of our oils. That But these workers have a seat on them. If you guys can see my heart pop down over your face, full of course. I'm saying, well, I heard the house bottle is made for a settle. to you those will spring up in your room. The retreat I have in here only nurse for a little bit and I'll be and I love them. 
They're very versatile. You can use them for anything and they smell good. Now one thing about using essential oils for cleaners and what makes them amazing is that essential oils come from the plants and the oils protect plants. So why not protect us at the same time? Essential oils work at the cellular level and they protect our cells. So by removing the chemicals from your home and replacing it with essential oils, not only are you cleaning, but you're boosting your system and protecting yourself. Yourself. So there's, it's just amazing all the way around. Clean and be healthy. There's no reason in this day and age why people have to clean and be sick. Um, essential oils penetrate the cell membranes. When chemicals from other cleaners get into our bloodstream, it circulates through our bodies and that's what makes us sick. So why not use an oil that will get into our body and it will benefit us and help protect us. Alright, so the first one that we're going to do, oh, for winners, what I need you guys or would like you guys to do is your comments, Tracy's going to keep track of them. If I talk about an oil that you don't have, comment that you want it or you're going to put it on your wish list. If you love it, share it. If you um, like the cleaner or if you have any other suggestions, comment out there. Share with us. Let us know how you're doing too. I also want to uh, share with you guys one more thing. If you look in the background over here, right over here, I have my diffuser going. Did you guys realize that having your diffusers going, you're also cleaning your house? The oils are antimicrobial and they kill bacteria. So it helps purify and clean the air too. So stop using the freeze, stop using the Lysol, get your diffusers out with, with your oils. Have them going so that you guys are cleaning the air in your homes while you're taking care of yourselves. Alright, are we ready? How many of you guys have heard, know of, or yourselves use essential oils for cleaning? Alright, while I wait for you guys to comment, I posted on our event page a copy of the page that I got the recipe from. So the first one we're going to start with is the all-purpose cleaning spray. That has cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, grapefruit, and rosemary in it. I think it smells amazing. So this is our cinnamon right here. You use one drop in our four ounce bottle. So just put your one drop in. As soon as it comes out, I think my bottle is almost empty. One drop of clove. Now, cinnamon helps the immune system. So instead of suppressing your immune system while you're clean, you're going to help boost it. Clove also helps your respiratory system and your cardiovascular, so you're helping with that too. We're also going to add eucalyptus, and we're going to put one drop in there. Many of you have essential oils, they're going to tell you that they've always used eucalyptus. It's wonderful for respiratory support. I think it might help clear areas instead closing them under green bronchospasms for COPD and, and uh, animations, so that's a good one. And then we're going to do grapefruit. Many of us know that we can use grapefruit internally, and we're going to do two drops. Grapefruit, grapefruit also helps motivate us. So most of the time when I'm cleaning and I have those chemicals around me, I kind of feel droopy and tired. So Replacing it with some grapefruit is going to be uplifting and when it does it also helps uh, purify. You will also, sorry guys, I just got a reminder about the fat uh, Grapefruit also helps your skin. I don't know how many of you guys, when you're cleaning, you end up with dry hands or dry skin based on your cleaners. Grapefruit will help with that. And then the last one we're going to add is rosemary. Rosemary also helps support your respiratory system. 
So we're going to add one drop. And I wish you guys were here to smell this because it smells amazing. How many of you guys know that you could use rosemary for cleaning and that it was good for your respiratory system? Okay, another wonderful thing that you can clean with is vinegar. It's just plain vinegar you get at the grocery store. The recipe calls for one eighth of a cup, so I'm going to here. And then I fill up rest of the bottle with water. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So that way it's full. Just add our lid. Shake it up. And you guys have a wonderful spray. It takes less time to make your own cleaner than it does to go to the grocery store and decide what you want to buy. It's very inexpensive too. So how many of you guys are excited to take your own all-purpose spray to use at home? Okay, our next one. We're going to do the window and glass cleaner. It only takes two oils to make this one. So we're going to use one. And we're going to use two drops. Lime helps burn the system. So again, we're boosting our system. Lime is also an antioxidant support. So again, we're getting those antioxidants that we need. And lemon. Everybody knows that we can use lemon. And we're going to do two drops. To help cleanse our bodies. But did you guys know that lemon is awesome to help purify and cleanse countertops, fridges, door handles, all of it. It's wonderful. Okay, so this one calls for one fourth of a cup of vinegar. And I actually learned about vinegar when I was in respiratory school. That's what we actually tell or told our patients to use to clean their nebulizer supplies. So I use a lot of vinegar at home. And then we're going to fill the rest of the bottle up with water. Again. That took us what two minutes to make window and glass spray. It's going to help support our respiratory system. It's going to help help support our immune system, and it's also going to give us any oxidant support. How many of you guys go to the store? Why you window get support for your I don't know that one. Okay. Done. It's going to be our our How many of us still benefit from using this? It is a little bit of a But we're going to have our skin. We can make sure this is I know that lavender smells good. It can be right. Other can't find the next one. Other can Coconut oil to help the roots. You guys are around.
so we're just going to fill it up. Friend that is thick, will detect you make oil, add some water to it. Okay, guys. So, about 10 minutes, if I'm ready, how many nerves? This is still extra sugar, recipes, that was oil, and vinegar. Right, and still, you're going to go You just boosted your immune system. You are making your breath healthier. You just removed hundreds of chemicals from your home. You can now share this with people who can benefit from using these. We all have the oils in our homes. We all have water. You can get vinegar and fractionated coconut oil while you're going grocery shopping. There's no reason to buy anything special or extra. The three took us less time than getting into the grocery store. Many of us are not going to buy bro uh, cleaning products from the grocery store without a coupon. So if you cut coupons, you just, just remove that. And when you buy your vinegar and your fractionated coconut oil from the store, you have enough to make lots and lots the bottles of this. Alright guys, so remember, cleaning supplies, remove the chemicals from your home, share with other people. If they have questions, you can send them my way, it's fine, I don't mind answering any kind of questions. Now to get these oils into your homes, and for the best price, and so that you have everything on hand to start doing your cleaning, this one is our home essential kit, and it's this one right here, and I posted it on the event page too. It has frankincense, which is the king of all oils. It's amazing. You can use it for anything by adding frankincense to your oils, especially if you're going to take it here or internally, or when you diffuse it, it enhances it. So you get lavender, which we just used for the stainless steel, lemon, which we just used for the glass cleaner and stainless steel. Luca. You can use melvary head clean. It doesn't matter what it is. Oregano. It's another amazing oil that you can clean with. That's nature's antibiotic. Peppermint. Who doesn't like the smell of peppermint, especially around the holidays? Make a peppermint cleaning spray. Then you have digestin, on guard, deep blue, and a petal. And the petal is the diffuser, which you guys see in the background over here, that we diffuse our oils. That kit has everything to get you ready to remove those toxins from your home. It also has enough oils to help get you started with moving the toxins from your beauty products and to start getting something in there that's more natural. All right, I know that was fast. I didn't really want this to be too overwhelming tonight because a lot of people feel overwhelmed when we start introducing new things to their homes. Very easy, simple, ready to go. Aroma Tools has the kits that comes with the labels. You can get a kit for 10 people, so you can do this on your own just as easy as that we did it. It's about $35. I think these bottles were about 45 cents each and that comes with the sprayers. So it's very inexpensive. These make awesome Christmas gifts, stocking stuffers. They are a great way of introducing people to using essential oils. A lot of people don't understand that the essential oils can be integrated into everyday life. It's something that we don't think about. It's not something that we're used to hearing. So essential oils are more than just smelling good and looking pretty and being holistic. It is an actual healthy way of life. It's a way to pull in the integrated, integrative, Holly, I'm saying that wrong again, to bring in a different form of um, medicine. Because even though you're cleaning, you're boosting your family's health and your own, especially if you're the one spraying it and it's getting on your hands. Yes, we all love cheap and natural. Okay. How many of you guys have a cleaning recipe that you would like to share with us or an oil that you love to clean with? See Holly? Me too. It took me 
a little bit to correlate the respiratory with equals. So if people who are on here that are new to the you are aware of all of our products. And this is an old on guard. And it has one of the of powerful like all in a laundry room. I use it. I do not buy the actual laundry store. Make a like this. So on the okay, calls Faso, but there are a few other boosts with natural stuff. Okay, so I'm going to just go Not that they're dirty that way with it. I'm just fast. Uh, I think we do better. We're a little bit quicker. Questions before we go. Now remember, share what we learn. Share with people. It's very important. Give it to ourselves. If people don't know how to use the oils, 
we're just cleaning. The cleaning. It's one of the best ways to get them interested in something that they're after. Thank you for helping me tonight. Ladies, thank you for being on here. If you think of any questions, please message me. Hold of me. You message in the end. I'll get back to you. I will be posting this on our page, so please share it with others, other people who were able to be on here tonight. <clears throat> and I go back east to the plot. So I appreciate all of you. I'm grateful that you're here. Cindy, the veggie spray is posted on the event, and I will repost it away. Alright, ladies.